that's that's the freedom we have here to to do and make whatever you want here and make yourself make your home make your art make your music whatever you want we got it here Hi, my name is Shane Norris. I live in New Orleans, Louisiana, and my occupation is electrician, but it's a specialized kind. Uh, I work on lighting for stage and film and electrician contractor for festivals. I've lived in New Orleans for just over 31 years. My family is from New Orleans. I grew up in uh, South Central Mississippi which is not far from here. And my maternal side of my family has been in New Orleans since uh, by around 1748. Uh, there's, there's many things that I love about New Orleans, especially uh, the access to non-stop music everywhere you go. Everybody's playing a radio or, every, or there's a musician walking down the street, you pass a club. There's art everywhere. We're a city of artists and musicians, among other things, and I, I, I love it. I never get tired of it. I love walking into French Quarter. It's one of the favorite th my favorite things to do. You know, see a bunch of people that you know and walk your dog, have a good time. But the thing I love the most is we let you be who you are when you come here. We don't put any labels on you. Come and just be as free as you want to be. Join with us. Maybe you'll stay. Maybe you go back to your cubicle, but you'll always know that you got to do it that one time. You'll probably come back too. So, I started working in, uh, in the music business uh, due to COVID. Uh, before that, I was a lighting technician or a lighting director on feature film. And COVID, we, we, uh, we grouped together a people and we put on a show to collect money for New Orleans musicians and gig workers. Working in music, uh, well, it's not really for the faint hearted at all. You do, to, you do get to work days sometimes, but more than likely you're gonna start around 6 or 7 p.m. Get it all set up, your sound check, light check, band plays, and then you come back, you tear it all down. It's morning two, three in the morning, sun might be coming up depending on the party or the gig and uh, and you go to bed and come back and do it again the next night. It's, it's really hard to do. The way, I, the way I enhance my health when I'm working these, these really hard hours, and we work them a lot, um, I try to get straight sleep. Um, one of the only ways that I was able to sleep during the day is to take CBD. It's a pretty amazing, pretty amazing stuff that to just one a few drops of it can do so much and make you feel so much better. I joined uh, the United States Marine Corps when I, when I was 17. I got my parents to sign for me and, and uh, set me free, so to speak. And uh, I was in uh, the Marine Corps for just over seven years and I did two tours. And uh, I came out, uh, well, I came out whole on this, on this side and uh, unshot, un uncut, un unwounded. And uh, I do have uh, what's called chronic PTSD, CPTSD. One of the reasons I started taking t CBD is to calm those feelings and anxieties and the, all the, you know, all the bad stuff that you that you get with those letters. And and as long as I take my CBD and I stay on it, I can miss a day or two. It's fine. But I go three or four days, then I'm I'm in trouble, and I have huge anxiety attacks and crying and you know visions of all the traumas you've gone through, your know, military childhood. Katrina, you know, all of those those traumas and you start seeing them and then and then you just go downhill after that. If I don't think about it, it's, it's, it's going to sneak up on me and, and it kind of hits you like literally like a hammer in the back of the head or me anyway. And I feel it kind of, I get kind of warm coming up my back and this tingling thing and everything has a little aura around it in a way, almost like a migraine description, you know, and uh, and then I start feeling really emotional and sad and things come, you know, jump through your head. And, and the further you go with this, the worse it becomes. And it comes, it, and at this point it's acting pretty rapidly. It could take me three minutes and I would be on the floor, just, just crying, curled up in a ball laying on the floor. I've had to go to work like that before. I've had to work on film like that before. And I, I was glad it was raining that day when we were out in the rain because nobody could see me crying, you know. And uh, I have a dog named Ozzy Osbourne, and uh, he has taught himself how to do this. When, I, when I'm in one of these, uh, when this happens, 
he will come over and lie on top of me on my chest, and like a service dog would, but he's not a service dog, so definitely, definitely helps me out with that. And, and CBD, I don't, I don't even think about it until I forget to take it. Uh, it's, it's truly saved my life. I, I truly believe COVID, when that happened to me in COVID by myself, I live by myself and my dog, I'm not so sure I'd be here, uh, to tell you the truth, without, without my dog and CBD. I will talk about it. I will try to, to I will give someone my story. So maybe I can help you with yours, with what's happened to you. Uh, I come from a background of uh, severe trauma. My entire childhood is severe trauma and then straight into the military. And that's always high stress jobs, things. But uh, you know, it is a CBD that helps me with all of that. It really does. It stabilizes me and uh, it keeps me level and thinking clear. And uh, I, I, can't, I can't expound on, on it enough. Uh, and not just CBD, but all 117 cannabinoids, you know. I chose Lazarus Naturals one of the, I was really impressed uh, by several things. Um, one, that you grow all of your own hemp and you process it on site and you make all your own CBD. And two, it's organic and grown by yourself, certified by a third party. Uh, that's why. One. one thing that Lazarus Naturals does that nobody else does, they make it available to low income and to veterans at a substantial discount. Uh, I can't tell you how much this helped me because I got to buy substantially discounted CBD from y'all during COVID and during when I was under workman's comp and I 85% pay cut. I, could, I couldn't afford it at all. And the assistance program, it, it indirectly has saved my life, I think. The health I have now, what it means to me to be healthy, I should say, is I eat mostly a vegan diet. And uh, before I started that, I had extremely high stress levels. I had IBS, I had tachycardia, my heart was racing out of control. It was so bad, my, my uh, doctor told me to quit or die. So I, I quit and I changed my diet. I changed, I changed just about everything to do with, uh, with my job, my diet, my food, my, what I thought about things, you know, how I, I outlook at life. But there was always a tenseness always there. The PTSD could creep up on me. But CBD stopped all of that. It's just like, it's just like, no, like nothing's happening. And that's the great part of it. You're not noticing any of it. You're happy, you're healthy. The doctor's looking at you like, man, I'm 63 years old and I could almost button that Marine Corps tunic there as it was about an inch off, but that's why health, stay alive and uh, be here for, you know, to lend your support to other people.